Hello, everybody, and welcome to Turn to Page 18, Attack of the Beastly Babysitter. How are you doing, Raps? Incredibly well, and yourself, Rita? Oh, it's good to be back. It's it's good to be it's back. It's so good to be back. I've had goosebumps all up in haunting my audio chain for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Having, uh, having a... Uh, the the nutshell of the issue is uh, one piece of my audio equipment convinced me all of the rest of it actually was the broken thing. One piece of my audio equipment was a sus imposter, oh. burn, the, the emergency <laughs> oh, no. vote sound. It's all of that kind of nonsense going on, but thankfully all of it is now resolved. I have managed to get the piece of equipment I needed from Germany, and we are ready to turn to pages. Let's go Germany and let's Woo! read a book. But it's, uh, I guess importantly, I glossed over Attack of the Beastly Babysitter. We briefly usually cover what's going on in the picture. It is, we of course, need. in curvaceous world as per the norm. <laughs> Everything is very askew, mm -hmm. funhouse mirror-esque. And the we aforementioned- fish eye lensy. Yeah, very fish eye lensy, very, uh, you know, early skate video uh <laughs> but yeah i can't it's... wait to see rodney mullen do the uh <laughs> wait what was uh the there's there's a flip the jimbo flip i guess skateboard can't wait to see rodney mullen do that at the end skateboard flip uh but it's a rat rat person rat individual that is the babysitter uh, excuse me it's a rat babysitter i i think so I think so. Seems to be the thing. A were rat babysitter, perhaps. But are mm -hmm. you ready to uh, to bewarn us about what is before us? I am. I am indeed. I don't see the danger here, to be entirely frank. It's just a, a, a furry friend who is also doing the babysitting. Yeah. Rats get a bad rep, for sure. I, exactly. They're nice, for the most part. Let's see if we can rail against that over the course of this Beware, do not read this book from beginning to end. It's bad enough that your mom still thinks you need a babysitter. Then Zoe from the kids care agency turns up at your door. Whoa, Zoe has a rat tattooed on her ear. You have a feeling bad just got worse. Zoe offers you a choice, fun or games. Whatever you choose, prepare for a scare. Can you take the horrors of the fun zone? Escape the bottomless ball pit? Survive the swirling sand blob? Beat the evil games master Dare at his own games? This scary adventure will be all about you. You decide what will happen and you decide how scary and terrifying the scares will be. I, I'm so glad I have such a bad memory. Because, like, cards on the table, we read this page, like, a week or two ago before the audio mm -hmm. exploded. And I'm like, wow, this is all interesting. I've never heard it before. <laughs> I'm like, that's pretty much the exact same experience I had. I was looking through it and I was like, I think I remember the name Zoe. All of the rest of this, nope, immediately yeah. went past me. So the, we did manage to record, I think, about half of one page before my microphone was oh. like, I'm broken. And it was yes. lying. Yeah. So just want to be honest here we read that before and about one uh what i think probably three sentences of this first page mm -hmm. uh but yeah i don't know i i think the fact that it's a fun zone is interesting because i really had anticipated this book would be largely home-based you know like i when i think babysit i think home-based I, I'm thinking that, but I'm also kind of thinking that, like, Zoe will... I don't... Like, I know the, the weird thing going on here is that she's, like, a were-rat were of some kind. <laughs> but I'm also thinking that when she offers us a choice between fun or games, she's just going to open portal pocket dimensions that yeah. you can go to the fun zone and the bottomless ball pit. And I wouldn't put it past Goosebumps at this point. I will say, a rat taking you to, like, an arcade-type fun and games place does exist it's chuck e cheese so uh -huh. charles entertainment himself charles e entertainment cheddar indeed <laughs> i i got to know if we want a real horror book give me like chuck e cheese that guy's creepy the animatronics can't stand it they should make a game mm. about <laughs> no, okay <laughs> they should make a game about it and then they should make a uh, choose your own adventure book based on fnaf we're ready yes <laughs> i'm sure they have uh 
But let's go to page one. Ding dong. Get the door, please. Your mom calls from upstairs. It's the babysitter from Fun and Games Kid Care. Ugh, I'm too old for a babysitter. You yell for the hundredth time. Stinko's the one who needs a babysitter. Or maybe a zookeeper would be better. Mom! Your six-year-old brother whines. I'm not a Stinko! <laughs> Stop calling your brother that silly name. Your mother scolds as she hurries down the stairs. And I don't have time for arguments. Dad is waiting for me in the car. She smooths her hair. Now answer the door and be nice. I don't want you torturing this babysitter like you did the last one. Who, me? You ask innocently. Your mother rolls her eyes. Ding dong, ding dong. <sighs> I'm coming, I'm coming. You shuffle to the door and throw it open and come face to face with a giant pink bubble. Turn to page two. Pop. The huge bubble bursts in the face of a mousy looking girl. Hey. She greets you. She peels the gum glob off the tip of her pointy nose. How's it going? You check her out. Straight brown hair hangs down to her waist. A long tie-dyed skirt and tank top droop on her thin frame. You know the perfect word for this girl. Hippie! Your mom joins you at the door. Are you a Mary Ellen? Uh, Zoe. The hippie corrects her. From kids care? She marches past you and your mom straight into the, your living room. <sighs> Sorry if I'm late. The traffic was nuts. Some car went into a ditch. I thought our babysitter's name was Mary Ellen. Your mom steps towards Zoe. But then your dad honks the horn in the driveway. Your mom shrugs. I must have heard wrong. Eh, no problem. Zoe says. Zoe. Zoe says. She tucks her hair behind one ear. Your eyes widen when you spot the tattoo of a rat on her earlobe. Earlobe? You've seen some strange tattoos, but a rat? Weird. <laughs> it's not the location. It's the rat that he queers. Yeah. It's like... Earlobe. Normal. Normal tattoo spot. It's just like, <laughs> why? Zoe notices you looking at her ear. She quickly yanks her hair back into place. Then she smiles at your mom. You go enjoy your weekend. Zoe will take care of everything. If you, if you don't want people to look at your tattoo, do not put it on your earlobe. Like, mm. I, I hate to say. Earlobe, not Excuse a good spot me? for a secret tattoo. Excuse me, can you please stop looking at my earlobe? My that, I, that is a private piece of art. That is a private rat tattoo on my <laughs> earlobe. Please, no pictures. Uh, for some reason, you don't like the way that Zoe said that. Turn to page three. Um, mom? You begin. Then you stop yourself. You complained all day about having a babysitter. You'd seem like a real baby if you confessed that Zoe makes you nervous. We'll be back the day after tomorrow. Your mom promises. Then she gives you a hard look. Hard And look. I expect... <laughs> she gives you a look. Hard. hard. <laughs> and I expect everything to go fine just here. Never fear, kids care is here. Zoe recites. She reaches into her huge shoulder bag and pulls out a bag of chips. She starts munching. Was it your imagination or did Zoe say kid scare? Zoe shuts the door behind your mom. You jump when the phone rings. I'll get it! Stinko hollers. He races to the phone. Hello? He bleats into the receiver. Mary Ellen? There's no Mary Ellen here. Oh, you're Mary Ellen. Oh, well, that's okay. We already have a babysitter. He hangs up. Uh, bye! <laughs> Slam. <laughs> I also, like, it's written with no pauses in here, so I do like the idea of Stinko just picking up and going, Mary Ellen, there's no Mary Ellen here. Oh, you're Mary Ellen? Well, that's okay. We don't have a babysitter. Bye. <laughs> just yeah. immediately. Boom, done. Classic Stinko. About? You ask. Some babysitter named Mary Ellen? Stinko replies. Her car went off the road, but don't worry. I told her we already have a babysitter and don't need another one. M Mary Ellen? You repeat. Turn to page 65. 
That's strange, you think? You turn to face Zoe. Mary Ellen was the name, Mom. Forget it. Zoe cuts you off. We've got better things to do about worry than worry about some bad driver named Mary Ellen. Like, what? You grumble. You're already sure you're going to be bored the whole weekend. Right now? This is weird. I, I know. <laughs> I know suspension of disbelief and everything. Mm -hmm. But we are just accepting that the fact that we're going to be bored is the most pressing concern that quickly we have a home invader <laughs> you drove someone off the road lied about their employment prospects came here in order to take their job possibly kidnap and kid scare us and then <sighs> called her a bad driver too i mean just like insult to injury there insult to injury exactly yeah you're already sure you're gonna be bored the whole weekend like this zoe reaches into her huge bag and pulls out a giant game spinner whoa stinko exclaims what's that you don't want to seem too interested but you can't help peeking at it out of the corner of your eye the first thing you notice is a silhouette of a rat in the center just like the tattoo on zoe's ear this girl has rats on the brain you think you move forward to get a closer look the spinner is divided into two sections one section says fun, the other says games. It's up to you now. Zoe holds the spinner in front of you. What happens next is your choice. What's it going to be, fun or games? I... If it... <laughs> so, I believe what's occurring here is we need to go to the spinner on a different page, 136, yes. and oh, then see. refer to the result we get from that and come back here. <laughs> Can you can I get like an instruction manual read of this from you? Just just this first Absolutely. paragraph at the very least. It's it's wild already. Fun and game spinner. This is your official spinner. Guard it with your life. The spinner will help you make important choices throughout Attack of the Beastly Babysitter. Follow these simple si simple finger spinning instructions each time you use the spinner. Finger spinning instructions, there are four choice rings in the spinner. Place your index finger on the correct choice ring, close your eyes, no peeking, circle your finger around and around, keep circling until you feel like stopping, open your eyes, read the word on your finger, the feast, the choice has been made for you. All right. This seems overly complex, but uh, it also seems like you would be able to easily uh, tell what you're doing with it the entire time. <laughs> Should we yeah. flip coins? <laughs> okay, I will say, I just got it into Microsoft Paint in the other window mm. here. And I would have thought it'd be very easy to definitely stop back on the same thing. And I failed twice, so. Well, then can I ask you to continue one more time and tell us whether or not you get fun or games, the two options between which we need to choose right now. Well, it will say, I mean, on the correct choice ring. Okay. So I guess which one do we want to do? The outermost choice ring is fun and games. I mean, do we think fun is, like, do we want a game that isn't fun or a uh, fun that is not related to a game? I don't know. I mean... I think both of them will be exciting. I think so too. I like games. Also, it would be hilarious if they killed you off of this. Like, oh my God. idiot, you should have gone to fun. You should have gone to fun. All right, I, I mean, I think this one should be easier to to get. I'm gonna say, yeah, okay, I got games. <laughs> Hell yeah. Games. A deep voice behind you says, "If you want to play games, then I'm your guy." You and Stinko whirl around. So we're just canonically his name's Stinko. <laughs> yeah, the, the only thing that he said without being named Stinko, he was still called our little brother at that point. Was I? stinko that's it Can I, it's stuck i'm not it's, stinko it's, said stinko <laughs> exactly the baby doth protest too much i'm sorry you 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 railed against it and now you are stinko yeah you and stinko whirl around zoe has vanished in her place stands a tall slim man wrapped in a long cape his face his body and the cape are completely covered with tattoos how huh? cape tattoos <laughs> It's hard to tell where his body ends and his amazing cape begins. Wh where did you come from? You demand. From fun and games kid care. 
the tattooed man explains. Zoe's in charge of fun. I handle the games. Where's Zoe? Stinko asks. Where the fun is? The man replies. You can't tear your eyes away from the horrifying tattoos. Snakes slither up his arms. Dragons breathe flames across his chest. A cyclops monster swings from a hangman's noose on a shoulder. Spiders, bats, and rats creep from his tattooed head to his tattooed feet. A tattooed man swirls his cape. And the tattoos oh. dance <laughs> wildly and making you dizzy. They call me Dare. He tells you with a grin. Ready to play games. Turn to page seven. I don't like this guy. I like him. But what kind of games? You ask suspiciously. Games where the winner takes all. Dare trolls. And let me warn you. I usually win. I want to play. Stinko pipes up. I win a lot too. And what about you? Dare turns a steely glance your way. Do you want to play Dare? <laughs> dare Schmare. You grumble. You don't trust this guy. You don't trust anyone with tattoos on capes. But you're not going to let him know that he scares you. Sure. You declare. I'll play. Who goes first? We all go together. Dare spreads his arms wide. He swirls around until his tattoos blur. The colors blend into a spinning rainbow, and his tattooed cape billows into the shape of a parachute. You'll know this game, I'm sure. Uh, Dare calls, still twirling. Each of you takes hold of one side of the parachute. Then, all together, we toss it up and run under it. Only the fastest can run under and get out under the other side of the parachute before it comes down. Are you ready? On the count of three. One. Two. To see whether or not you make it out from under the parachute, you'll need to do a puzzle on page 84. What? Pick a string. Oh, okay. It's a two-page thing. Next. Pick a string. Any string. Follow to the end. Whatever you do next will depend on what you do now. Okay. So basically, there's oh, this is kind of neat looking. There's like a picture. Of, there's a picture of a parachute at the very top, and then at the there's like a bunch of points, uh, at, at like around the edges of it, and on those points there's a bunch of strings, and they're kind of swirling around in a maze like fashion, down to the bottom where it says, you like if either get a run to turn to page forty five, turn to page one seventeen, or pick another string. Uh, mm -hmm. the majority of the options go to pick another string. <laughs> so. That makes sense. Do you want to, uh, I did the spinning thing. You want to, you want to pick one of these random dots and just see what the universe says? Sure, sure. I'm going to choose the second leftmost. I'm following it around its little path right now. It's going all around. I got to pick another string. Can you pick a string for us now, Rita? Okay. This is invigorating podcast content. I'm going to pick the, uh, so wait, you pick the second one from the left? Second from the left, yes. I'm going to pick the one right above it. I'm going. I'm going. I, oh, I have, I have messed myself up. This is, this is difficult. This is a high skill cap. Uh, I said to pick another string. <laughs> mm. Good. <laughs> I'm going to go for the one across from that, which, uh, is pick another string. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna do the Wanna one. Take us out of this hell. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the next one right underneath it. I'm gonna let's see, follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. Turn to page forty-five. Mm -hmm. We found the content. We did it. <laughs> we found the content, and it's a good ending too. Oh, congratulations! You and Stinko easily dash under and out of the giant parachute before it lands on you. Mm, excellent. Dare nods his tattooed head. I look forward to beating you at my games. <laughs> you, gl you glance around. Nothing looks familiar, in fact. Everything look looks very, very strange. The trees are orange. The grass is purple. You're not in your house anymore, that's for sure. What, 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 where are we? You stammer. Right where I want you to be. 
Dare hurls his tattooed cape. Okay, this has come up too many times for me to not say. What do you think they mean by a tattooed cape? How is that not just it's like... made of human skin. Oh, God. That's the only... Yeah, no, it's the worst possible option. It's the worst and only real... Like That's the only one where I'm like, okay, yes, those are still tattoos. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. He hurls his tattooed cape at you. It drops onto you and Stinko. You and Stinko back up quickly, but the cape is quicker. It closes down around you. You try and lift one edge, but it won't budge. When you look around for Dare, you don't spot him anywhere. All you see are tattoos of snakes, spiders, dragons, rats, wiggling and writhing on the walls around you. Look out! Again, this is wallpaper? Yep. It's not tattoo. It's absolutely wallpaper. It's not tattoo. This is a stencil. This is a stencil. They're not... I... <laughs> I'm just... I... I... You don't open this book and say, wow, they tattooed a lot of words in here. It's like, it's not, <laughs> you can't, it's not a catch-all. <laughs> it doesn't work oh, like that. Um, now, I know that, uh, I know that you recently had a kid and I, look, I, they need to start learning, you know, and then just playing around with tools and stuff like that. So, um, do you mind if I get him a tattooing book? <laughs> you know, tattoo by numbers. Tattoo by numbers. Yeah. Oh my. All right. Uh, you look out, Stinko cries. The tattoos are alive! Stat, stat, oh god, Stinko, so he's becoming statue. Oh no, <laughs> he, Stinko, no! Stinko is right, kind of. This is a tattooed tent of terror, unless the wall is skin as well. Oh no. And you are, in, and Stinko are trapped inside. Go to page nine. I don't want to play games anymore. Stinko whimpers. Too late to change your mind now. Dare replies. You whirl around to confront the strange babysitter, but you don't see him. Where'd he go? Looking for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Dare steps away from the wall. Your mouth drops open. The tattoos on his body shift and move just like the tattoos on the wall. No wonder you didn't see him. He blends right into the walls as if you were camouflaged. What kind of babysitter are you? You demand. One that likes to play by the rules. Dare answers. And what are the rules? You ask. Simple. <laughs> That's how I'm, I'm just gonna... Whenever it's like, hey, it's family board game night. What are the rules? <laughs> Simple. Simple. Yeah, in the end. Dare explains. Every game you win brings you to the next level. If you get to the highest level, you get to go home. You stare at the tattooed man. The swirling, wriggling tattoos make you dizzy. You're almost afraid to ask your next question. And if we don't make it that far? Then I win. Dare smiles cruelly. And you never go home. You become one of us. You join Kid Scare. Forever. Okay. So, canonically, these are kids who have failed at games? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like if, uh, it's like if you, you played Jumanji and Robin Williams jumped out to hunt you. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you, you, you got fully Jumanji'd, I guess. I okay, guess. wow. I guess, I guess so. 49? This... Oh, no, you go. <laughs> It's, it's 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 just the idea of a character who's like got lost in this world like his name was jim bryson or something like that <laughs> and he's like ah, you know what i'm gonna cut off the skin of the nearest corpse oh, tattoo my. it all of myself call myself dare and speak in this voice and the rest of, like at what point do you make that transition yeah and then like and then you just have that plight of like constantly needing to one-up yourself you're like well Next is a tent, I suppose. Let's find mm -hmm. some... We need some more bodies. But uh, <laughs> just like... Oh, what's next? We'll see. 49. That's not fair! You yell? You never told us that! Well, you never asked. Dare shrugs. Which makes the picture swirling around on his body look even weirder. Stinko stomps his foot. 
he demands. The only way home is through the games, Dare says. He steps back and disappears into the tattooed walls. A large flat box appears in the spot where he was standing. On the top of the box... <laughs> on, the, uh, on the top of the box are the words, Game Box. <laughs> <laughs> As you gaze at it, you shiver. <laughs> a cold wind blows through the tent. It lifts one tattooed edge slightly. The wind is blowing in Jamrock. Uh, if you grab Stinko and run to the edge of the open tent, turn to page 96. If you open the box, turn to page 22. We've been warned by Dare to play by the rules. We've been warned to go through the games. I imagine that it's a death if we run to the edge. If we run to the edge, we cheat not only the game, but ourselves. Exactly. We've achieved nothing. A hollow victory. Uh, so yeah, let's go to page 22 and play by the rules. Let's do it. Uh, you decide to open the box. Dare said the only way to get home was by winning the games, so you might as well get started playing the games by the rules as instructed. Look out! Stinko warns. What if something bad is in there? It's just a game. You tell him. But what game? Stinko asks. You can tell he's scared, and so are you. But you're also curious. You put your hands on top, uh, on the box top. Stinko leans over you, breathing down your neck. Slowly, carefully, you lift the top of the box off. You lean over the box to see what's inside. You see yourself. And Stinko. It, it's a mirror. You exclaim. And we're in the mirror. Stinko adds. And the mirror is in the box. You hear Dare say. And if you're in the mirror, and the mirror's in the box, well then, I guess you're in the box too. <laughs> you and Stinko are shoved into the box. The top comes down fast. So fast that you can't fight back. You're trapped inside. You'll never win now. Dare is finished playing the game now. And so are you. The end. What? This? What? So... <sighs> I need to clarify what I wonder has actually occurred at the end here, right? Because it's got the logic of the riddle of like, you're, you're you're trapped in a wall, you're trapped in a room with four walls yes. and no door, and you've got a table and a saw. How do you escape? You cut the table in half, two halves make a hole, you put the hole on the wall and you escape, right? Like some nonsense logic riddle like that. Sure. But then he also just pushes you into the box. So uh, like, I know. is it physical? Yeah, it's like, Aha, so you're already in the box. So let me just put you in the box. <laughs> so you kind of lost your poignancy, proven... my boy. <laughs> QED, I have proven you are in the box. Now, get in the box. <laughs> get in the box so that I am right. <laughs> Please. Uh... I can't believe that we tried to dodge the death and immediately the game was like, you tried to dodge the death. Well, screw you. Yeah. Die. Yeah, you know, like it even, it said... So you tried to play the game by the rules like a smart person as intended. Uh, so bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, we got, and, we and got I chided that by someone named Stinko. Oh, I know. All right, let's grab Stinko and run to page 96. Sounds good to me. Come on, Stinko. You exclaim. Here's our chance. You grab Stinko's hand and race to the fluttering edge of the tent. Stinko gets down on his hands and knees and crawls out of the opening. You follow right behind him. Outside the tent, things are not what you expected. You thought you'd crawl to freedom, but you didn't think you'd be this free. There's nothing above the tent. There's nothing below the tent. And even when you look back, the tent is gone. You've crawled out to the edge of nowhere. Will you drop <laughs> off the edge? What? Play the edge of nowhere game. The game will decide your fate. All you need are a coin and a tabletop. Place the coin at the edge of the table closest to you. Flick the coin to the other side of the table. Flick it as close to the edge as possible without letting it slide off. Wait. If you flick your coin over the edge, 35. If you flick the coin close to the edge but not over, this is subjective. Turn to page 78. If you flick your coin and it doesn't come back anywhere near the edge, try again. You don't want to be stuck on the edge of nowhere, do you? Do you have a coin? Well, that... 
I yeah, I just I just tried to do that, simulate that in the background while all of this is occurring. And uh yeah, I got not super close, but kinda close on the first one, so then I tried it again and I went over. So basically we choose. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's subjective, was close close enough. Yes. <laughs> close was close enough. We well, flicked our coin close to the edge, but not over then on page seventy eight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would say so. Uh woo! You win! Your coin stopped just short of the edge, subjectively. You breathe a sigh of relief. You yank Stinko away from the edge. The tent reappears. But how? You don't care how it happened. You crawl back inside, dragging Stinko in with you. Anywhere is better than nowhere. You stand up. The tent's walls and ceilings vanish. <laughs> Where are we Come now? on, Stinko asks. I don't know. You murmur, <laughs> gazing around. You're standing on a slab of slate. It's one of many slabs of slate forming a path through the endless white sand. The pure white sand blankets the ground as far as your eye can see. Why did the tent come back? <laughs> <laughs> a burning ball of fire shines brightly overhead. It's the sun! Stinko wipes sweat from his forehead. Are we at the beach? He asks. It's more like a desert. The broiling wave of heat hits your face. You gaze out towards distant dunes and squint your eyes. You struggle to focus on something too strange to be real. In the middle of the heat, you feel a chill. Am I really seeing that, you wonder? Or are my eyes just playing tricks on me? Find out on page 62. A sand monster! Stinko cries. So Stinko sees it, too. It must be real. A monstrous blob is rising out of the sand, and it rolls towards you like a sandstorm. As the creature comes nearer, you notice a black hole in its shapeless center. Sand is sucked into the hole with the force of a cyclone wind. Anything in the sand blob's path is sure to be drawn into the giant black hole. We've got to get out of here! You shout. But Stinko is too terrified. He throws himself down on the slate slab and covers his head with his arms. You yank at his shirt. Come on! You insist. Get up! Stinko suddenly sits up, feeling the slab with his fingers. There's writing on this! He exclaims. Look! Stinko's right. There are letters carved into it. Roll the dice to make your next move. You read aloud. A pair of dice appear at your feet. Uh, it's another game. You whisper. A game of chance! Feeling lucky, you roll a pair of dice to figure out your next move. Do you have some on your desk already? I don't have them immediately on my desk, but I do have them outside in an easy location. All right, I'm pausing now. Pause done. <laughs> oh. Double sixes, baby. If that's not a good outcome, I'm mad. Roll an even number, go to page 86. All right, you roll an even number on the dice. Before you can even ask what comes next, a deafening roar fills your ears. Hot wind whips around you, a cyclone funnel like a... <laughs> like the tattoo on Dare's shoulder sucks you forward. You and Stinko bounce onto the next slab and the next and the next. Help! Stinko cries over the roaring wind. It's got me! You watch helplessly as your little brother is towed away by an invisible force. Hot sand stings your eyes. You rub the grit away and focus on what's vacuuming, vacuuming up you and Stinko. It's the sand blob! You scream to Stinko. Fight it! The black hole in the sand blob is sucking everything in its path. Slabs of slate fly over your head. Whole sand dunes whisk by you. Your skin burns as grains of sand sting you on their way into the black hole. You wonder if you could tunnel down into the sand. You might escape from the sand blob that way. Then you think, or maybe, maybe the sand blob will take us out of here. Take us someplace better. If you think the sand blob may be a way out of the awful desert, let it, um, oh, let it suck you over to page 110. I misread that. <laughs> if you quickly dig a hole to escape, turn to page 90. So I wonder if maybe, like, we have the positive result, and the positive result is that the sand blob is sucking up all of the sand, like, taking all of these, uh, these dunes away, and will reveal the hidden exit. I... I like that thought, and I'm down with either, and as a result, 
I'm happy to just spice it up. Do it. 110? Oh, sorry. 110? Oh, oh wait. 90? Yeah, 90s. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I misunderstood. I misread. I misunderstood. I'm in a whole new good. world. I'm in a bit. Uh, I've been. I'm in a sand world right now. Got my head in the sand. Ha. Huh? You dig a hole and drag Stinko into it with you. You burrow down as deep as you can. The sand blob roars over the hole. Brrr. That wind is not hot. It's freezing. You and Stinko huddle together. Then silence. The blob is gone. The hot ball of fire in the sky disappears. A cool blue moon takes its place in the black sky. You climb out of the hole and gaze around. The sand and the slate slabs have turned into ice. You take another step and your ankles wobble. Your feet feel too heavy to lift. Ice skates! Stinko exclaims behind you. We're wearing ice skates! Hey, how did that happen? I, I don't know. You admit. But it's lucky we both know how to skate. You glide forward. Stinko follows you. Then he taps you. He yells and skates away. Oh, no, you don't! You laugh as you whiz by him. After all that terror, it feels good to kid around. So long, Stinko! You call back to him. You skate right into Dare's tattooed arms. Oops! Turn to page 106. Let me go! You scream. You wrestle to break Dare's grip on your arm, but he clutches you tightly. Welcome back! Dare says. Stinko skates by. Dare snags him, too. You've made it to another level, he remarks. Time for the next game, and this game is very cool. Freezing, in fact. Dare reaches under his cape and pulls out a silver spray gun. On the barrel, it says, Instant Ice Maker. <laughs> Before you can protest, he takes aim and sprays Stinko. Stinko instantly freezes. He's an ice statue. Stinko! You cry. Dare turns the ice gun on you. Turn to page 28. No way! <laughs> Sorry, I just see... Oh, no. You... No way, you yell. You grab for the instant ice maker. Your fingers wrap around the barrel. Back off! Dare shouts. You and Dare struggle with the spray gun. You point it at his face and squeeze the trigger. Psst! You bruh! Dare shrieks as his mouth begins to freeze. You spray him again, but before he freezes solid, he twists the gun around. Psst! He got you! All three of you are frozen stiff, but who's the coolest of all? Good question. Why well, guess when you can find out for sure? Take three ice cubes and three small glasses filled with hot water. Glass one is Stinko, glass two is Dare, glass three is you. Drop a cube of ice into each glass at the same time. Which one melts first? So, so I think, yeah. The these Here, hold are on, hold basically on. ice cubes. Hold, hold on. Actually, I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to go get all of those things. I'm going to, I'll, I'll be right back. You okay. Fine. <laughs> all right. Pause is done. We, ha I got my three glasses of hot water and my three ice cubes. Are you ready? Yep. You can hear them here. Okay. Sounds very similar to the dice. All right. I'm going to drop them in. Uh, all right. I'm waiting to hear the signature sound of ice dropping into a glass. On a table? Oh, uh. Okay. Oh, oh, it's looking. Oh, it's looking bad. Oh, uh, it stinkos. It looks like it's well, melting. Wait, how can you see it? Stinko, but it's on my no, desk. Dare's pulling ahead. Oh my god, I'm so glad we both got the ingredients to do this. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, so wait, uh. Yeah, which one melted first? On mine, it's... Dare. You think Dare melts first? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, it looks like the one that... On your on your table, Dare melted first. Let's go to one... Let's go to 108. How many... Like, I was about to make a joke that, that it's going to say... Why Why guess when we can go go to the store, buy some ingredients with your parents' credit card, and, and uh, come back with... And it's just like, what? how far is this one going to get? First, in order to figure out what page you go to, 
Put $75 USD into an envelope <laughs> marks PO Box 26. Yeah, pretty much. All right, 108. The dare ice melts first. Aha! Uh -huh. Dare cheers. I win the cool contest. And that was just a warm up. What now, you wonder? Dare turns his back to you and spreads his cape open like butterfly wings. A fire-breathing dragon tattoo on the cape spits out a blowtorch blast of flames. The thick coat of ice on you and Stinko melts instantly. Oh no, the ice beneath your, beneath your feet also thaws, and you and Stinko are suddenly neck deep in freezing, swirling water. You dog paddle furiously. You strain to keep your head above the water. A large stone castle looms over you. You realize you're in a moat circling the castle. You are a large stone castle looms over you. You realize you're in a moat circling that castle. Your gaze rises up and up. It lands on Dare high in a turret. <laughs> Look at that. Stinko whimpers behind you. You turn in the cold water. Whoa, a giant dragon hovers at the edge of the ice. You recognize it as the dragon tattoo from Dare's cape. Somehow it slid off the cape and into real life. And it's getting ready to blast you again. Turn to page 51. Swim, Stinko! You yell, but Stinko's too scared to move. He ha holds onto your leg. He's dragging you down into the freezing water. If you don't start swimming, you're going to go under. You stretch both arms forward in your best butterfly stroke to escape the fiery breath of the dragon. But you're in luck. A low drawbridge spans the moat in front of you. You reach for the side, and the bridge rises slowly, carrying you and Stinko with it. Then the drawbridge stops midway. The dragon shoots fire, just missing Stinko's feet. Ah! Stinko screams as he dangles from your ankles. Your arm muscles are stretched to the limit. You don't think you can hold on for much longer. I'm waiting for you. Dare calls down. The dragon breathes fire again. The flames lick at your legs. Yow! That's hot! You could try and pull yourself up and out th this way, or you could drop to cool the fire in the moat below. Go up to the roof of your house, hold on to the gutter, see how long you can <laughs> count it up with a timer. How long can you hold on before you... <laughs> just... And if you fall, how many hairline fractures do you get on your ankles? <laughs> if you get three or more, go to paint. If you try... Um, I... If you try and pull up on the bridge, go to 126. Otherwise, moat 89. I think we could drop into the moat. I think we win the cool contest by be becoming cool, right? I Or is it be by becoming I gotta hot? Be by thawing, I guess. I, I have no grasp on the logic of this book. <laughs> yeah, it it's seems like some of these are traps and some of these are games, and he uh, doesn't label which is which very well. <laughs> It's, he labels which is which based off of if he won the encounter. If he yeah. won, then it was a uh, a game. If he lost, it was a trap. <laughs> so, moat? Let's do it. All right. 89. The dragon's breath is too hot. You cry. I have to let go. I have to cool down. You loosen your grip on the edge of the drawbridge. Get ready to dive. You instruct Stinko. You let go now. and Oh, sorry. You let go and plunge towards the water. Bad move. Total misplay. That's just what the hungry dragon was waiting for. He licks his dragon lips and then he exhales. The burning blast of fire breath catches you and Stinko. Instant barbecue. You and Stinko are crispy critters now. A little bit salty, but overall a tasty dragon treat. The end. I mean, hey. That's fair enough. They keep on saying, like, now, you had the right idea trying to do this mm -hmm. logically, but no. <laughs> exactly. Alas, I think we have to pull One. ourselves up on page 126. Yeah. You grit your teeth and pull yourself up, up, and up. Stinko hangs onto your ankles. Finally, you flop onto the drawbridge, dragging Stinko behind you. The dragon shoots out one last fiery blast, but it misses you. As the dry bridge goes up, you and Stinko slide down and tumble into the castle. You land on a colorful mosaic tile floor. The bridge bangs closed. A heavy iron bar lock locks it into place. You and Stinko have survived the moat and the dragon. 
but now you're trapped inside the castle. Welcome to Kids Care Castle. There, Dare's voice bellows all around you. Congratulations! You've made it this far. Not many others have survived the games. You may get home yet. As he speaks, you glimpse something moving near your foot. You peer down. Yuck! A huge, hairy, red-eyed spider crawls across your sneaker. You recognize it. It's the spider tattoo from Dare's left hand. He lost another tattoo! Oh, oh no. Go to page 94. Where's Dare? Stinko whispers. As usual, Dare is nowhere in sight. You sigh. His favorite game must be hide and seek. You murmur. Right. Dare declares. Your eyes widen. The tattooed man rises up from the tiles on the floor. This guy's amazing, you admit to yourself. Scary, but amazing. You peer at Dare. The spot where the spider tattoo used to be is empty. Dare has another invisible spot on his tattooed body. Aha! Each time Dare loses a tattoo, you realize he loses a piece of himself. This fills you with courage. What are you without your tattoos? You demand. Are you just a big nothing? Oh, getting... you, you freaking killed him, dude. That's per like this is getting personal. <laughs> exactly. Dare ignores your question. You really insult a man's aunt. Yeah. Uh, instead, he swirls around. Now you see me, Dare crows, waving his colorful cape. Now you don't. Quit showing off, Dare, you yell. We want to go home. To find your way home, Dare's voice taunts. You'll have to find the way out. Go to page 66. Fine, you mutter. We'll find our own way out. You glance around the stone castle. Okay, you think. We can't go out the door. It's bolted tight. Your eyes land on stone steps leading down into the cellar. This way, Stinko. You whisper. You dart down the stairs. They bring you to a dark tunnel. Maybe it's a passageway under the moat. You begin to run. And then you stop. Hundreds of glittering eyes stare at you from the darkness. Yikes! You shriek. Rats! Stinko screams. Get me out of here! I'm trying, I'm trying! You grab him by his sleeve and drag him behind you. Rats scurry from under your feet. They nip at your ankles as you dash through the dark tunnel. You turn left and come to a solid wall. You go back, turn right, and come to another solid wall. Stinko! You gasp. I think we're in a maze! Look over at page 67. <laughs> Yep, it is a maze. Put your finger on start. Don't lift up until you're out of the maze. Follow the instructions at the end. Uh. All right. I mean, it's a it's a picture of a rat, but the rat is also a maze. Does that mm -hmm. help? Does that help the reader, the listener? This, this is a placemat at Denny's. Oh, it uh, was run by rats. <laughs> Uh, so it's a Denny's. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm running it. I can't believe we're never going to get a Denny's sponsorship for the podcast now. Gosh. Oh, I love rats though. I made it. To oh, there we that's right. We did actually preface at the very start. Rats get a hard rap. Yeah. Uh, I made it to the, 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 the exit at the snoot that i didn't know i don't know if that's like i also made the exit at the snoot now i'm scared that that's wrong but like i did the maze it was easy i've done a lot of denny's mazes on placemats or cereal boxes so denny's I mean, make cereal now damn <laughs> future honestly probably everything yeah. is made everything now all right one of three Good work. You made it through the maze, probably. You emerge into a room filled with huge tiled columns. I never thought we'd get out of there. Stinko admits. How did you find the way? It was easy. You tell him. I just followed that rat. No, I used my really good gamer skills. That's 
this is dismissive. You point to a fat black rat scurrying away. I just figured he would know where he was going. Hey, I've seen that rat before, Stinko says. Where? You ask. Before he can answer you, one of the huge ra- uh, what? Huge columns turns. It's Dare! Here's where you've seen that rat before, Dare announces. He holds out the palm of his left hand. The rat runs onto Dare's palm and settles into the skin. It turns back into a rat tattoo. E. <sighs> you bore me. Dare tells the rat. He peels it off his palm, dangling it by its tail. It's a living rat again. I've got to hand it to you, Dare says. You've won my maze game. It, he blows on the twirling rodent and it disappears. So does the palm of Dare's hand. Turn to page 40. You gasp! You can't believe that Dare's palm just disappeared like that! You lean forward to get a closer look at his invisible palm. Dare doesn't even try and hide it from you. In fact, he holds it out for you to see. Here, he says. Have a good look, it won't bite you. He shoves his hand inches from your face. Yikes, a vampire bat pokes its head through the hole left by the disappearing rat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Before you can pull can back, what do you got? I, what I you can got? only visualize like the absolute palm of this guy's hand is just the face of a vampire bat at this point. It's the only way it could. Like, I don't... <laughs> Before you can pull back, the bat's fangs dig into your neck. You said it didn't bite. A warm and woozy feeling rushes through. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, before you can pull back, the bat's fangs stick into your neck. A warm, woozy feeling rushes through you. Uh-oh, you've been bitten by a vampire. You know what that means. You're a vampire, too. Go to page 82. Are, are you okay? Stinko asks. I think so. You reply. So far, you don't feel any different. I lied, it did bite after all. <laughs> Dare laughs. But you don't have to turn into a vampire if you play the game right. This is no time for games! You cry. <laughs> it's always time for games. <laughs> Dare scolds. He tosses three balls into the air and starts juggling. Inside one of these balls, you'll find a cure. Man, the Saw franchise has gotten weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is Billy 2.0. This is just that puppet. You yeah. want to play a game? Pick the ball. It's always time for games. Inside one of these balls is the cure you need. Uh, he explains. All you need to do is guess which ball. Is it the red ball or the yellow ball or is it the green ball? <laughs> Dare keeps juggling while you're trying to start trying to well try to decide which ball will save you. Why can't this just actually be like a three skull Monty situation? I'm like actually good at that. Mm hmm. Uh, but no, we have to go to the freaking spinner in my. I mean, I have it open. Do you want me to just like actually put my finger on it and just run in a circle and pull, Absolutely. put random? It Give it a go. Is, uh, yellow. Sorry. Yellow. I also don't remember what page we were on previously. Uh, 72. 72 and then yellow. Or, sorry, I mean oh, 82 and then yellow is 72. <gasps> Good! You chose yellow, the color of the sun. Vampires hate the sun. Of I, Yep. That's why I picked it. You open up the sunny colored ball and a beam of sunshine darts out. That's all it takes to destroy the vampire in you. One look at the ray of sunshine and you're cured. Saved. Wait. Wait, wait, hang wait, on, wait, wait, hang on. Wait. Vampires in this world aren't killed by the sun. They're they are cured what? by the sun, so they avoid the sun so that they don't become human again. Uh, this is backwards. <laughs> I'm starting to think that there's a little bit of, uh, uh, a little bit of make-believe going on here today, Raps. <laughs> what? My disbelief is not ready to be suspended so far as to accept that vampires, which I accept as wholly real, yep. can be cured by sun. Yeah, well, put on your disbelief suspenders, because it is time to get back in. <laughs> the sunbeams zoom across the room and lights and lights up a secret door hidden in the castle wall. Zelda? Look, 
Stinko. You cry? Ba -ba 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 <laughs> that might be the way out! Before he can move towards the door, Dare speaks. You win this round. He tells you. I do? You sputter with surprise. But I expected... Expect the unexpected in all of my games. Dare interrupts you. You're doing very well for a beginner. You peer at Dare suspiciously. Is he actually being... nice? In fact, you're so good, I'm going to give you a choice. Dare continues. Here it is. To quit while you're ahead, turn to page 20. Uh, to go through the secret door, turn to page 37. We need to find our way out. He said it earlier. 37. 37? I'm like, quit while you're ahead. I mean, every other time that's happened, it's been like a setup for a decapitation. Every, mm -hmm. every other time. You wanted to quit while you were ahead, and now you don't have a head. <laughs> the end. For morbid curiosity, mm -hmm. 37 is canonically what we think is correct. Yes. May I see if I'm right? Absolutely, please do. Okay, page 20. <laughs> the end? Decapitated? Uh, okay. You decide to quit while you're ahead. An evil grin spreads over Dare's face. Are you on page 20? Or should I... I, I'm not. There's one line. Very quickly. Okay. Jump. Okay. But you aren't ahead yet, he murmurs. He winks and swirls his tattooed cape. Your body disappears. All that's left of you now is guess what? This is not the book. This is the book saying that. That's not me. Guess yeah. what? Ahead. Now you can quit, Dare Taunts, while you're ahead. The end. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely got him got him uh 37 now's our chance stinko you grab stinko and dash through the door in the castle wall you glance back to see if dare is following you wham you smash right into the marble column your head spins from the impact a door in the long narrow column opens up you and stinko tumble into the into a plexiglass tube that's a proper noun plexiglass yeah. i guess i just i just never assumed the tube snaps shut. The column door slides closed. You and Stinko are sealed in the tube. It's like the money tube at the driving bank! Stinko exclaims. Exactly! Whoosh! The tube, with you and Stinko in it, is swiftly sucked up by strong force. A whirring sound surrounds you. You're speeding through a dark tunnel. All that of this happened so fast, you haven't enough time to think about what's waiting at the end of this tube trip in there. If there even is an end. Go to page 70. Thud. The speeding tube stops. Your stomach got lost. <laughs> this is canon. Your stomach got lost somewhere back in the tunnel, but now it catches up to you again. The door on the tube flies open. Stinko rushes out first. Wow! He exclaims. He points to a neon sign hanging over the entrance gate to an indoor playground. The sign says, Kid Scare Fun Zone. There's Zoe, a real babysitter! Stinko yells, pointing at a thin girl in a droopy tank top. Hey, Zoe! We're over here! Zoe turns to see who's calling her name. But when she turns around, your eyes widen at the horrifying sight. From the back, she looks like Zoe. From the front, she looks like a giant rat! Come on, Stinko! You gasp, grabbing your brother by the neck of his shirt. She's not a real babysitter! And something tells me that the fun zone isn't really fun! <laughs> <laughs> but there's been a lot of games in the game zone, so I mean, maybe it's been nothing if Those not games like really been games though. Uh, you're also right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair. For once, st wait, hold on. We had no option, right? Yeah. For once, Stinko listens. Mm -hmm. He follows you willingly. You have no idea where you're going. You just run as fast as you can, gripping Stinko's wrist tightly. Your eyes dart all around, desperately searching for a way out. Zoe, the rat girl, chases you. What are you doing here? She screams. This is fun! You're supposed to be in games! You glance back at her. Yikes! An army of giant rats surround Zoe! After them! Zoe cries. Don't let them get away! You and Stinko run as fast as you can. You can tell he's getting tired. He's panting hard. 
but you have to keep going. Zoe and the Rat Pack. <laughs> Ooh, nice band. Are gaining on you. Run! You beg Stinko. Run for your life! With the rats close behind, you come to a wall. Two elevator doors open at the same time. One is going up, one is going down. Which one should we get on? <laughs> Stinko cries. You have no idea, but your life depends on it. Hurry. Quick, go to the nearest skyscraper. Find the first elevator. <laughs> press the button on both elevators. One up, one down. Whichever one shows up first. <laughs> we, have to, we have to flip a coin. We have to flip a coin. Quickly ding dong ditch three neighbors in your street. <laughs> <laughs> if your mom is uh, mad, go to page... <laughs> Do you have a coin? I, I have a a uh, a six sided coin which if oh, is even will be heads up, is otherwise heads down. Yeah. It, oh, that sounded like your ice cube. It did. It sounded very remarkably <laughs> similar. We are going uh, down. All right, page forty three. Down. <laughs> you cry. The lobby button lights up. The elevator monitor whirs. You hear rats scratching at the elevator door, but relief floods over you as the elevator starts to move down. You watch the numbers above the door. 16, 15, 14. Oh, I didn't think we'd make it. You admit? That was really close. How close was it? Uh-oh. That wasn't Stinko's voice. You feel a hot breath on the back of your neck, and the voice speaks again. Was it this close? You whirl around and come face to face with Dare. Or what's left of Dare, that is. Turn to page 52. You gasp in horror and Stinko cowers in the corner. A grotesque figure stands inches from you in the elevator. It's Dare, but a very different Dare. Whole pieces of his body are missing. A knee, an arm, one ear, half of his face, part of a shoulder. Where his tattoos once were, there's nothing now. Just air. We get it. The tattoos hid the fact that Dare is nothing without them. Every time you won a game, Dare lost a tattoo, and he used up some of his, some trying to defeat you. The tattoos are left. The tattoos left are in trouble too. Tattered creatures gasp for breath. They struggle to hang on to each other. They keep a shape, a form to stick together to keep Dare alive. The game is almost over. Dare growls. I'm losing the games. I'm losing everything. I'm supposed to be the winner. These are my games. And I want to win my games. <laughs> Turn to page 95. I want to win. Well, I'm never playing Monopoly again. <laughs> a tattoo of a top hat <laughs> jumps onto his arm. A tattoo of a top hat, a thimble, and a Scottish terrier begin to march out. <laughs> yeah. You face the hideous monster. There, there. Is there any way out? The elevator's still moving. There are no escape hatches. Stinko whimpers behind you. Dare links his only arm through Stinko's arm and pulls your brother away from you. You can't hide from me. You've already taken too much of my time and too much of me. I will win the game. I always win in the end. Let me go! Stinko screams. He slaps at Dare's tattooed shoulder. A shrunken cyclops head in a hangman's noose comes off in Stinko's hand. Stinko screams and throws the hideous head onto the floor, and the one-eyed head rolls to the corner of the elevator and it stops and stares up at Dare. There's one last game to play. Dare hisses. The most dangerous game of all. I call it all or nothing. You call it all for nothing. Are you ready to play? Well, are you? Are you ready to play the most dangerous game? Turn to page 111. If you stall and pick up the shrunken head, go to 124. Uh, he slaps the tattooed shoulder, a shrunken cyclops head in a hangman's noose, which we had had our attention drawn to before, comes off in Stinko's hand. So I wonder if we do want to try and stall and pick up the shrunken head. I mean, this guy seems like intent not to really play by the rules anymore as much as he wants yeah. to just get his form back. Yeah. 
and I I don't know maybe if he's if he's if all these other tattoos are of creatures and things and this one is in a noose I mean I feel like he's probably not on their side if I were to guess mm, may have but. so let's go to 124 maybe let's do it to see if the game just says eh, who cares you're dead anyways doesn't matter you try to you try and get a beat on me and I took that personally you grab the shrunken Cyclops head by its stringy black hair. You swing it around like a lasso. Dare ducks to avoid being hit. Oops. The one-eyed monster clobbers you on its way around. You drop the head and collapse. You're knocked out cold. You don't know how much time has passed. You hear stink of his voice next to you. Wake up! He's saying. You open one eye. You're back in your own room. In your own house. Wake up! Stinko yells, shaking your shoulder. They're back! You squint your eyes to see the couple standing in the doorway of your room. Mom? Dad? You ask groggily. Ready for some fun? Oh no. One of them asks. And some games? Demand the other. Oh no. It's not your mom and dad, it's Zoe and Dare! Zoe grins at you, a nasty, rat-like grin. Your mom called. They're staying an extra week, so ready for fun and games? This isn't fun at all! You wail. <laughs> then it must be games! <laughs> that is the best setup. What? Dare declares. Go to page seven. What kind of games? You ask suspiciously. Games where the winner takes all. What? Dare draws? And let me tell you, I usually win. I want to play too. I win a lot. We are on uh, the first encounter with Dare again. Da but, but why? It looped us! But why? Dare, what did we do wrong? Well, I mean, I guess we just go to page 111 then. We have to play the most dangerous right, game. Oh, and what awaits us on page 111 but the Goosebumps classic. You swallow. Hard. All right. You declare. I'm ready. All or nothing. Dare is a sickening sight to see. His tattooed cape is gone. His tattooed form shrivels as each tattoo wears itself out trying to hold tattooed Dare. Tattoo together. Many of Dare's dangers are gone. The dragon, the snake, the rat, the cyclone, and now even the shrunken cyclops head have all been peeled away. What could be worse than all those things that you've already destroyed? Don't worry. Dare's about to show you. Go to page 92. It's it's, it's a crossed out sign that says Molly in a heart. <laughs> the elevator stops on the 13th floor. This is where we get off. Mm -hmm. Dare announces harshly. Using his only arm, he shoves you and Stinko out the door. A piece of a lizard tattoo falls off, leaving a new invisible spot on Dare's elbow, in case you forgot about that thing we've mentioned a lot. We're back in the tattooed tent where we started. You murmur to Stinko. But the tattoos on the tattooed walls aren't alive anymore. Stinko whispers back. You can hear the relief in his voice. They're just pictures. Dare pushes Stinko to the side. Then he shoves you to the center of the tent. You stumble a few steps. On the X! Dare orders you. You notice two spotlights make two spotlights make a large X on the floor. You stand on it and wait. Wait on page 75. Dare stands in front of you. The spotlights shine right through his invisible spots. The hot lights make the remaining tattoo creatures squirm. The only sounds are the sounds of creatures hissing, gasping, dying slowly. Dare takes off his t-shirt. A hulking horned beast rears its head on his chest. The beast roars, bearing a mouthful of flesh-ripping teeth. Stinko screams in terror. You throw your arms up to protect your face. When Dare laughs, you can see it right through the back of his head. The last game is deadly simple, he explains. Only one of us can win. Only one of us can survive. It's the most dangerous game of all. Your throat is so dry with fear that you can't speak. But 
What do I do? You whisper. You simply make a choice. Dare tells you. You look at me and make a choice. All or nothing. It's that simple. I see. I look, I'm looking over to my Microsoft Paint document that I know it's coming. Exactly. You try and look at Dare, but his body is too horrifying. Instead, you lock onto his eyes. Weird, you think. His eyes don't match. One is green, the other's blue. You feel dizzy. His eyes seem to spin. The word, word all appears in his green eye. In the blue eye, you see the word nothing. Now you know. The choice is in his eyes. Your mind spins too. Questions swirl around your head. Is this a trap? Why does the choice seem so obvious? If you take all, will you win all? If you take nothing, will you win nothing? What could this monster dare have remaining up his sleeve? Uh, use a spinner. All or nothing. Uh, uh, I, okay. I guess I will. This one seems like if, if so. I'm trying to reread the rules. Circle your finger around and around. This one just seems like I do, I don't think I could get this one wrong if I wanted one. Sure, but we also don't really even know what they do. So yeah. So which one? But it says to start by pointing at the one you want. Ah. So that is the thing. It says start by pointing at the one you want and then start spinning. So we do need to figure out what our ideal would be first. I so. think making him nothing is oh, the option for him. Okay. All right. All right. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I feel like this one should be pretty easy to know if I'm up or down. Yeah. What a surprise. I, I hit nothing. The, the, the outer, like the outer, it's hard to explain. It's just a, it's like a big ring and you run your finger around in a big circle. And it's a little bit tougher to figure out when there's the minutia there. But the final all or nothing is literally like if you, your finger is, in the entire top hemisphere, you get all. If your finger's in the mm -hmm. entire bottom hemisphere, it's nothing. So it's like, if it's kind of just the same as picking. <laughs> Pretty much. That, that one's the, yeah. the other ones were a little bit trickier. So, I mean, let's go with nothing, and we'll see. I choose nothing! You exclaim. The horned beast on Dare's chest roars. It reaches out for you with its clawed hand. Stop! Stinko shouts. He runs to your side. Get back! Dare bellows. This game is just between us. Stinko clutches your leg. I won't leave you. He cries. The beast on Dare's chest reaches for Stinko. You try and hang on to him, but the beast is too strong. It drags your little brother into his arms. Then the killer beast tattoo slams Stinko against Dare's shoulder. A new tattoo appears instantly. And a whole new arm. No! You shriek. You shut your eyes. You can't look at the horrible sight. Stinko is the tattoo creating this new arm. Dare's laughter sounds like a cry of victory. You chose nothing! <laughs> he shouts. And nothing is what you'll get! No points, no brother, no home, no life, no nothing. You can't believe your choice is turning out so badly. Stinko's a tattoo. You know you'll be next. You can't let the game end this way, can you? Go to page 101. No! You scream. No, no, no! You step out of the X and lunge forward. Dare yanks back his stinko arm. <laughs> Dare yanks back his stinko arm and slaps you on the side of the head. <laughs> oh my god, oh, I nice love Goosebumps! <laughs> The hit sends you reeling backwards. To stop yourself from falling, you grab the beast's tattoo's horn. To your shock, the horn pulls off in your hand. And with the horn comes the whole tattoo. Once the beast has been torn from Dare's chest, the rest of the tattoos crumble, shrivel, dissolve. <laughs> Is that easy? Dare shrieks in agony. You destroyed me. I'm nothing. Yeah, you did it. You beat Dare in his own game. You killed the man. Go to page 81. <laughs> All that's left of Dare is air. Is some dairy air? The tattoos are all <laughs> gone. The beastly babysitter is a horrible thing of the past. And Stinko is the only tattoo that survived. Convenient. It's all over. Finally! 
<sighs> Ready to go home now, Stinko? You ask, ruffling your brother's hair. I'm not a Stinko! Your brother argues. R2. I'm not! R2. I'm not! R2. I'm not! Oh, well. Some things never... end. Woo! Yeah! I mean, like, we're the antagonist <laughs> there, but, like... <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. We just went to... We visited this man who was setting up fun games for us to play and murdered him. Pretty much. I like them, though. I like the concept of the, the, the tattooed villain with the tattooed yeah. pieces. It's cool. It's a cool concept that I have not... I don't think I've seen it in that way. I, I I also haven't. I like the the uh, the the particular idea that I had in my mind of one of the tattoos they mentioned early on would be relatively important to use functionally later, like the shrunken head. So if the shrunken head was like a decision of like you know you talk to the shrunken head and it's like this guy hung me a million years ago. I want to help you fight him. Like that would have been sick as hell. I think that's yeah. like the the two percent that takes it from a ninety eight to a one hundred. Yeah, indeed, indeed. But I don't know. Uh, that one's wild. I liked it. It had nothing to do with babysitting, really. <laughs> uh, zero what? out of ten babysitters would read again. <laughs> That's right. No babysitters were actually interacted with over the course of the entirety of it. It's true. All we know is that a babysitter drove into a ditch. That's all we know <laughs> about babysitters. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, but yeah. Do we do we know what our next book is going to oh, be? Oh gosh, it's been a it's been a hot mom. Let me give yourself goosebumps. It is. Oh yes, I've been waiting for this one just from the like just the sheer bluntness of the, like bluntness of the name. Uh, uh -huh. Escape from camp. Run for your life. <laughs> Beautiful. Is the next book. Um. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I I'm excited for it because looking at the cover, it gives me uh, Night in Werewolf Woods vibes and like the camp mm -hmm. of, the camp of it all. Um, I don't know. I, I just think there's a reason it's a classic like horror format. It just feels it's something cozy. There's a cozy little murder time about it. I don't know. But extremely extremely excited for that in the future. Yeah, the moment. This has been the Turn to Page podcast. Hey, uh. I think a, th a thing, a thing is worth mentioning at this, at oh, this yeah, juncture. At this, at this point now that I can actually, yeah. Uh, you know, a huge thank you. Like, hold on, let me, uh, let me pause and I'll come back with the name pulled up here. Okay. I just wanted to pull up all the, 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 the details that I have here, but a huge thank you shout out to Heather for sending in two books, like full scanned. Lost in Stink Eye Swamp, and it came from the internet. Like, I, we're going to be able to do those books now uh, for this podcast. So, like, that's kind of, like, groundbreakingly huge. Such a, what Extremely a nice gesture. Much appreciated. Huge, huge, huge thank you. Uh, which leaves the only, um, the, the only books that we don't have access to in the Give Yourself Goosebumps, kind of like whatever franchise, if you have any lead on where to get them or if you have them and you want to scan them and send them or just like anything like that, we are looking for still Invaders from the Big Screen, Hocus Pocus Horror, Ship of Ghouls, Into the Twister of Terror, uh, Zombie School, because I, I think that it's like partially available online, All Day mm. Nightmare, Return to Terror Tower, which I think is also partially available, One Night in Pain House, Revenge of the Body Squeezers, partially available, and Weekend at Poison Lake. So if you have any lead on where to find any of those, either online or if you have them and want to, you know, try and scan and send them in or something like that, that'd be fantastic. Like, I expect nothing, but magic happened last time. Uh, and, and the place you can send any kind of information or lead in is going to be turn to page cast at gmail.com. Uh, that is the best place to reach out to the podcast since it obviously can be uh, found and listened to all over the place on many different streaming services, things like that. Uh, it's hard to really keep keep track of any comments and things like that. So uh, the email would be the, definitely the best place. But yeah. 
You got anything you want to exceptionally true and fair. Say and wrap up? None in particular. I'm very very excited for the next week and of course to be continuing turn to page now with the uh the tech troubles out of the way. Yeah, it's hopefully should I mean, fingers crossed. Hopefully should be good to just go back on the weekly. It was I, I, a big massive promise that it or it was not from a any source other than a, we literally couldn't. We attempted to through troubles and could not. So mm -hmm. we uh, will be back at it again with consistency tech permitting. Uh, but alas, the loot. Thank you for listening. We'll scare you next time. Bye bye.